1875 is a most important day in the annals of the telephone, for on that day, guided by the light of his own wonderful theory, Bell found the road leading to the realization of his speaking telephone idea. On that afternoon, his harmonic telegraph was working worse than usual. One of the steel reeds in my room stopped vibrating, and I, as I snapped it several times to start it going thus, Bell came rushing from the other room in great excitement and told me he had heard in the instrument at his ear the actual sound of the spring I had snapped. It is a great pleasure to respond to this cordial invitation and to come to the Bell Telephone Laboratories and speak in this way about the days when Bell was working out his invention of the telephone. To do such a thing as this would have been not only impossible, it would have been inconceivable in the days when I was working with Mr. Bell. Motion pictures and talking motion pictures then were many years in the future. But here I am in the telephone shops again, and again I hold in my hands some of the old instruments I made for Mr. Bell, now carefully preserved and treasured in the Bell System Historical Museum. Broadcasting System was one of a half dozen companies providing electrical transcriptions for the exclusive use of radio stations. Others, including Langworth, Thesaurus, McGregor, and Standard, all used the lateral cut method to manufacture 16 inch discs. Associated and World were the exception as they used the Hill and Dale or vertical cut process. World differed from the others in that it operated under the aegis of Western Electric and Bell Telephone Labs. All of the equipment, microphones, recording lathes, mixers, cutting heads, recording amplifiers, and monitoring equipment were the products of Western Electric, and their engineers supervised installation and operation of the studios. The method chosen for the World Program Service was the vertical cut system, Appropriate reproducers were designed with permanent diamond needles and moving coil pickups. The existing wax cutters developed by Western Electric in 1925 were modified to produce vertical excursions of the stylus, and the frequency range was extended to 10 kilocycles, or 10 kilohertz if you prefer. This D-spec wax cutter used a 10 and 1 half inch long rubber line to damp out the natural resonance of the armature. Recording was on wax, flowed onto metal plates, unlike the thick wax cake blanks used for phonograph records and Vitaphone discs. The wax masters were gold sputtered in Western Electric designed vacuum chambers and then plated in successive steps to produce the mother and stampers. <laughs> 